Hello and welcome to Need to Know Space. I'm Kate Arkless Gray, but you can call me Space Kate. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Now, usually I record videos that are suitable for anybody and they're usually about a particular mission or a bunch of space news, but this one is a kind of special episode for anyone who's going to the International Astronautical Congress, especially first timers. So feel free to watch even if you're not going along this year. Hopefully my top tips and tricks will be useful for pretty much any big conference you find yourself at, but this one is specific to the International Astronautical Congress. So let's get started with a beginner's guide to the IAC. The International Astronautical Congress, or IAC, is one of the biggest international space conferences there is, if not the biggest. It takes place every year in a different country, in a new city each time, with potential host nations bidding to host the future events, kind of like they do with the Olympics, actually. And if you have never been to the IAC, it can be kind of overwhelming, so stay tuned. Don't worry, I've got you. I've got some tips that I've picked up over the years, and hopefully they will help you make the most of your time and have a fabulous, fabulous IAC week. So the first thing that you need to know about the IAC is it is big. I mean, really big. Uh, before the IAC, I think maybe the biggest conference I'd ever been to had, what, 500 people? That seemed like a lot. But the IAC in 2023 in Baku, they had 5,000 delegates. That really is big. And it's not just the number of people, but it's the number of sessions, talks, high-level discussions and networking opportunities, receptions and coffee breaks and dinners and parties and... Oh my gosh, yes, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. But don't panic! I have got the tips that you need to get you through. Let's start simple. Tip number one. Be prepared for it to be bigger than you thought it was. And don't get caught out by the sheer size and scale of it. And tip number two. Have or quickly make a friend that you can message anytime you need to see a friendly face or have somebody give you some moral support before you give a talk. Top tip number three. Study the programme before you get there. Don't forget there are multiple technical symposia all happening at the same time. So decide which topics you want to focus on and make a list of where and when the particular talks are that you want to listen to. Trust me, you will really, really be thankful of this when you get there. You have to realise that no matter how hard you try, there is no way to see and hear everything that you want to. I've tried. <laughs> There will always be overlaps and there'll be like three things you really want to be at right now, but they're all happening at the same time, but in completely different places. And in addition to the technical programme, there are other events such as the excellent Global Networking Forum events. So you will miss stuff. Don't get too stressed about that. You can't see everything. I know the FOMO, the fear of missing out is real, but there's not much you can do about it. So let's take a deep breath make peace with it. Tip number four. Make sure you've got some emergency chocolate or whatever kind of snack will keep you going when you need it. If you're anything like me, you'll be rushing around from talk to talk, bumping into new friends and old friends and chatting about really interesting new developments in the industry, and then you'll completely forget when was the last time you actually ate anything. There'll certainly be some kind of cafe on site, but I'm imagining the queues are going to be pretty long and the prices probably quite high. Now sitting in a room, focusing on a bunch of technical talks one after the other, it does require some brain power. And hitting a sugar low just before the talk you really want to hear, it's not ideal. So emergency chocolate or whatever snack you like, that's a good one. Tip number five, suss out where to find the free coffee and know the Wi-Fi password. And I'm not talking about just for yourself here. Knowing which coffee stand has the shortest queues, befriending the people in the ex exhibition hall who've got a coffee machine, or being that person who can help out with the Wi-Fi password, these are all excellent ways to win friends and influence people. And trust me, with attendees coming from a whole bunch of different time zones, coffee becomes essential. And if you're the one who knows where to find it, you could reach instant hero status for somebody you've just met. Now, the next tips are for people who are not just attending, but presenting papers at the Congress. 
hopefully they'll be useful for this conference, but also for, for other conferences. A lot of them are quite general. But of course, all the usual tips about get your slides uploaded in plenty of time, be prepared, stay calm, those all go without saying. But especially for the IAC, here are some important tips for you. So tip number six, remember that whatever time you are given, even if it's really short, that's the amount of time that you have got to speak for. Unless a whole bunch of people can't make it or they've dropped out at the last minute, every one of those technical sessions will be jam packed full of talks. And if you go over your time, you could rob somebody else of the chance to answer some questions later on. So please do respect the session chairs and the timing and the other speakers. Tip seven, don't, don't fill your slides with tiny text that nobody can read. If your slide is full of text, they're just gonna stop listening to you and start reading the slide instead. Now, I know you've got a lot to get through and it's a small amount of time, but trying to share your entire PhD thesis on one slide, it's not smart. And there's no point cramming 10 tiny graphs on one slide either. Nobody will be able to read them. Decide on the key message that you want people to go away with and explain it clearly. It's so much better for the audience and it's so much better for you. The people who really do want to know more, who need to see all of the raw data, want to ask all those really technical questions, well, they can get in touch with you afterwards. And on that note, tip eight, do make it easy for people to get in touch. So make sure on your last slide, the one that says thank you or any questions, that's the slide to have all your contact details on. You never know, maybe these people wanna collaborate with you. Maybe it's your big break and they wanna offer you a job. Who knows, just make sure you're not closing the door on new opportunities. So put your email address on your last slide and leave it up there while you answer questions. And here's a little bonus tip, number nine. This is a bonus space cake networking tip. Now I've sat in sessions and I've listened to talk after talk. And sometimes there is something really interesting early on and I think, oh yes, I'm gonna catch that person at the end of the session and ask them all about it. And then 12 presentations later, I can't remember exactly which person in a suit it was that I was going to talk to. So have something that sticks in my memory, uh, a bright tie, colorful socks, an interesting handkerchief or a hair clip. It might sound a bit daft or trivial, but it can really help people to find you. And if you wanna network, and at this kind of conference, you should want to network, this is a way to do it. And I know these tips are more towards the guys, there are sadly fewer women presenting and because they tend to wear something other than dark suits, they are generally a little bit easier to find. Now, I love meeting new people and I'm always happy to be a friendly face if you need one um, at the IAC. So it's become a bit of a tradition for me to wear my light pink, pale pink suit to make myself as easy to spot as possible. Now, if you're in a sea of black, navy and dark grey suits, you should be able to spot me even in a pretty busy room. So look out for the pale pink and come and say hello. Top tip number 10, network. There are people from around the world, IAC, from different space agencies, from different startups, different space companies, universities. It is a wonderful and exciting environment. And although it might seem a bit daunting to begin with, this industry is actually not really as big as you think it is. So meeting new people, and staying in touch with them is really, really good for your career. And it's great fun too. I've got friends, space friends, all around the world. And even if I don't see them for a few years, it's always great when we catch up at IAC. So tip 11, have business cards. Have plenty of business cards. And make sure you put little notes on people's cards if you've taken them. If you said that you were gonna send them something or you had a particular conversation this is invaluable for when you get home and you unpack and you've got this huge stack of business cards and you're just trying to remember, oh my gosh, who was that person that, oh, and I said that, put a little note on them. It's a hot tip. Tip number 12, if you are looking for a job, have a link or an updated CV on you or update your LinkedIn page. Make it easy for people to get your details. That way you come across as really engaged and organized. Tip 13. Have fun. IAC is busy, mind blowing, intense. It's a whole week of spacey goodness, but don't forget to have fun. 
Talk to people, meet them for coffee, grab a drink or dinner, ask them who's hosting receptions and share that intelligence with other people. It's a really nice community and embrace your part in it. And if you're bored of networking and you just want to party, Yuri's Night on Thursday is the place for you. You can get your ticket online, get dressed up and have a great night talking space, meeting new people and dancing the night away. Tip number 14. Don't ignore the exhibition hall. There's so much going on in the exhibition hall. And if you, like me, are a fan of space swag, pins, pens, patches and more, this is the place for you. You can meet people from different space agencies, universities and companies from all around the world. Listen to talks, check out the latest technology, maybe watch some demonstrations. And sometimes the big companies or perhaps cities who are thinking about hosting a future Congress will host a little reception. So usually around four o'clock is the time to keep an eye out and they'll be offering maybe a glass of wine and some nibbles. So keep your ears and eyes open, find out what's going on and where, and uh, yeah, it will help you have a really good time. And if you spot a company with some especially interesting space swag, do let me know. You can find me on Twitter at SpaceKate or on Instagram at Space Nomad. I am still raving about the Astroscale pen that projects a little image of the moon that I got on IAC years ago. Tip number 15. Pass it on. It was a NASA pin badge that made space real for me. Meeting somebody from NASA and them giving me a pin, that's what started my whole space career. So pick up an extra sticker or a pin or something that you can pass on to a young child or a big child, you know, somebody excited about space when you get home. It's up to all of us to make this industry welcoming and inspire the next generation to want to be part of it. It might just be a pin, but you never know whose life you could change. Tip 16. Sleep. It's likely that you will not sleep as much as you want or need to during the IAC week, if you're anything like me. So make sure you get plenty of sleep the week before and don't overdo it too much. Pace yourselves. And tip 17, don't forget the vitamins. Because there are people coming from all around the world and if you've really not slept enough, you are more likely to catch somebody else's cold. So I like to bring a tube of dissolvable vitamins to help my immune system along and also remind me to drink some water and not just survive on coffee. So what have we got? In summary, IAC is big. It is intense, but it is also great fun. You will meet amazing people and learn a whole bunch of new stuff. So make sure you've got a card to swap details with so you can stay in touch with them and do make the effort to follow up after the conference. Knowing where to find the coffee, where the plug sockets are, and what the Wi-Fi password is, these are great ways to endear yourself to tired and stressed out people. I promise you will be thankful for that emergency chocolate one day, so make sure you put it in your bag. And if you've eaten it one day, get a new one for the next day. If you don't need it, somebody else will. If you're giving a talk, keep it clear and simple. Making the text smaller so you can cram everything onto your slides is not the answer. Keep to time, and don't stress, you got this. Remember, you cannot do everything that you want to at IAC. It is genuinely impossible, even with the best planning. So just enjoy all the things that you can do. Make new friends, collect new space swag, be inspired, and take that inspiration home with you and pass it on. So if you're heading to Milan, I am at SpaceKate on Twitter, and at Space Nomad on Instagram. I will see you in Milan in my pale pink suit, so come and say hello. I'll be there for the Congress and, of course, for Yuri's Night. Until then, ad astra.